the question I am going to handle now is, is puzzle type of a thing, simple one. It is 2 star star into 3 star star. First line will be 5 star star, star 6 star, star star 3 and 5 stars. So and what is given is number 7 does not occur in supply multiplication, find the product. So this is a multiplication, a 3 digit number to 3 digit number, I am getting a 5 digit number. So these are all very simple problems. This is a uh, more or less a, like a puzzle type of a thing, I can call it the logic, the logical reasoning also. But see as far as APTE is concerned, I always keep on telling that it is not more than A standard level of maths. So if you have a fear that it is more than A standard level of maths, don't fear, it is not maths. It is A standard level of maths, 10 standard level of English or slightly more. But what is required is a higher level of thinking is required, a higher level of thinking is required. So here what happens is we have done this problem, a three digit number, a three digit number, we have done this problem in the fifth standard itself. Those days the numbers would have been there, but here the numbers are not there. But the rules of multiplication remain the same. The rules of multiplication remain the same. That is not going to change. So when I multiply this number into this number, I'll get my first line. This number into this number, I'll get my first line. Similarly, center number into the top number will give me the center line. Center number into the top line will give me the second line. Similarly, 3 into this will give me the third line. 3 into this will give me the third line. Now, only with this you'll have to find out the answer. Only with this you'll have to find out the answer. Now, what is happening? The simpler way of doing is when I multiply 3 into this, I am getting 3. When I multiply 3 into this number, I am getting 3. 3 into the top number, first number here, last number here will be 3. So, what it implies is, so whenever I multiply 3 with 10 different ending numbers, I will always get different ending numbers. 10 different ending numbers, I will get 10 different ending numbers. So what I talk about ending number is, when I do multiply 4 to 2, I will be getting 8. 4 to 7, it is 28. So 8 is the ending number in all these cases, both these cases. Whereas with 3, I will never get a repeat ending number. With 3, I will never get a repeat ending number. 10 different numbers will be 10 different ending numbers. So what happens is, when I get 3 here, so 3 into 1, will be 3. So this can only be 3. Only with 1, I will get 3 here. Only with 1, I will get 3 here. So with 3, I am able to find it one number. With 3, I have been able to find it one number. Now, I will go to 5. I will go to 5. So when I multiply this number into 2, this number into 2, I will have to get 5. When I multiply this number into 2, I will have to get 5. See, whenever I multiply any number, by 2, I can only get an even number. Whenever I multiply any number by 2, I can only get an even number. But here, I am getting an odd number. But here, I am getting an odd number. So what it implies is, whenever I multiply any number by 2, I can only get an even number. So if I am going to get an odd number here, there should be a carry over. So when I multiply this number into this number, I will have to get a carry over. That carry over should be an odd number. That carry over should be an odd number. Otherwise, E1 plus E1 will become E1. So here into 2 will be definitely E1 plus something odd will give me 5. Plus something odd will give me 5. So it could be either 1 or 3. The carrier can only be 1 or 3. Now, now I will come, come here. This is a 3 digit number. 2 stars are a 3 digit number. Similarly, 5 stars are a 3 digit number. So what happens is when I multiply 2 with 5 and above here, I will have to think of numbers here. When I multiply 5 and above, I will get a 4 digit number. 2 and 5 will be 10, this will become a 4 digit number. I cannot have a 4 digit number here. I cannot have a 4 digit number here. So 5 and above are ruled out. Then I go with the lower numbers. So when it is 4, 4 into 2 is 8, which is greater than 5, it is not possible. Then 3 into 2 is 6, that is also greater than 5, it is not possible. Similarly, 2 into 2 will be 4. I can get a carryover. 2 into 2 is 4. I can get a carryover. 1 into 2 will be 2, but I will not get a carrier. I will not get a carrier. So what it implies is, this number can only be 2. This number can only be 2. The last number, the second line can only be 2. So this is 1, this will be 2. So I am satisfied with 3 now, I am satisfied with 5. With 6, I will have to find out 2 numbers. With 6, I will have to find out 2 numbers. Now, this is definitely 1. This number is definitely 1. What happens is, even presuming this is 9, the largest single digit number available. Supposing I presume the center number here is 9, 9 into 1 will be 9. 9 into 1 will be 9. 
I will not get a carry over. 9 into 1 will be 9 here. I will not get a carry over. So what it implies is the product of these two numbers will have to end with 6. The product of these two numbers will have to end with 6. The product of these two numbers, center two numbers, will have to end with 6. See, I generally don't believe in trial and error method. I generally don't believe in trial and error method as a solving after is concerned. But I very strongly believe in elimination of possible alternatives. I very strongly believe in elimination of possible alternatives. See, when I multiply these two numbers, the product will have to end with 6. So I'll have to think of all those two numbers, single digit numbers. When I multiply, the ending number will have to be 6. Now the possibilities, suppose the moment I write 2 and 3. See, 2 and 3 will be 6. 2 and 3 will be 6. But we have definitely found out that there should be a carryover here. There should be a carryover here. So when I write 2 here, 2 into 2 will be 4, I will not get a carryover. Similarly, 2 into 3, I will not get a carryover. Since I definitely have to get a carryover, one of the numbers has to be definitely 5 or above. One of the numbers has to be definitely 5 or above. 2 or 3, 3 and 2 is ruled out. Similarly, 4 and 4 is also ruled out. This will not come. Some of them might be getting confused that 4 and 4 also will end with 6. But because I will not get a carryover, I cannot use 4 and 4. Then I will think of other alternatives because one of the number has to be definitely 5 or above. The other numbers which I can think of is 6 and 1. So when I multiply 6 and 1, I will get 6. 6 and 6 will also give me 6. Then 7, 8, 56 also gives me 6. 8 into 7 is also 56 gives me 6. Then 9 and 4 also will give me 6. Similarly, 8 and 2 also will give me 6. So one, one number will be 6, the other number will be 1. Similarly, 6 and 6, 7 and 8, 8 and 7, 9 and 4, 8 and 2. Now I'll start with the elimination process. I'll start writing. So here I'll just write this number down. So we already found out 1 and 2 here. We already found 1 and 2. So I'll write this and eliminate it. So I'll take it as 2, 6, 1 and 3, 1, 2. So what happens is, so this will be, uh, see normally I am just for the sake of working, I will work it out. But when we work it out on our own, we don't have to write all these numbers and check it. The moment I write this, they are given as 5 star star. See we have already, so what will happen is, when you multiply 2 into 1, this will be 2. 2 into 6 will be 12, 1 carried over, this will become 5. Then next one will be 2, 6, 1. Next one will be 2, 6, 1. Then here it will be 3, 1s are 3. 3, 6 are 18, 1 carried over. 3 to the 6 plus 1 will be 7. So when I multiply 261 into when I use 6 and 1 here, what happens is 261 into 312, I am getting 7 here. I am getting 7 here. So what happens, what this is number 7 does not appear in this multiplication. Does not appear in this multiplication. So I cannot get 7 here. I cannot get 7 here. Some of you will think 6 and 1 is the only answer. Some of you will be getting 6 and 1. So you will not in a position to see this 7 and you will give the answer. So uh, that's why I, I always say elimination of possible alternatives. I have to think of all the alternatives and find out which one is suiting my requirement, which one is suiting my requirement. So 6 cannot be used here. 6 cannot be used here because I am getting 7 here. So 6 and 1 is ruled out. Similarly, 6 and 6 is ruled out. Same reason 7, 8, 8, 7 is also ruled out. Now I am choosing, I will have to delete 2 alternatives, 9 and 4 and 8 and 2. Supposing you use 2, 9, 1 and 3, 4, 2. Supposing you use like this. So what will happen is, this will be 522, 522, 2 1s are, sorry, 2 1s are 2, 2 9s uh, are 8, 2 9s are, will be 8, 582. 2 1s are 2, 2 9s are 8, 18, 1 carried over. Then 4 into 1 will be 4, 4 9s are 36, 3 carried over. 4 9s are 36, 3 carried over. 4 into 2 will be 8 plus 3 will become 11. I am getting a 4 digit number here. Whereas I got only 3 digit number there. I got only 3 digit number there. I cannot use 4 digit number. So 9 is also ruled out. The only answer possible is 8 and 2. So it will be 281 into 322. 281 into 322. So what will happen is 2 1s are 2. 2 8s are 16. 1 carried over 562. Again same 562. Then 3 1s are 3. 3 8s are 24. And 3 into 2 will be 6 plus 2 will be 8. Now when I total this, this will be 2, 8, 4 and then this will be 90482. The answer is 90482. 
so the elimination of possible alternatives is very very important in solving your puzzles whether there is a number here you don't have a number it's only purely logical where only english statements are there even then it should be elimination of possible alternatives subscribe to my channel you will be getting the updates every now and then wish you all the best